Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ford Farm, where I am unloading a load of bales into the hayloft. Seem to fit. Cool. I don't think we're going to be, afford, be able to afford too many cows, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're, they're expensive. What are they, like 8000 a pop? Yeah, something like that. Man, why does that arm always take so long to go up? All right, I'm headed your way on 93. We're going to be selling off the rest of these bales. All right, I got one full load of trailer, one full load. And I got two bales left over, I believe. So you want me to leave them as grass, or you still want me to wrap them? No, go ahead and wrap uh, Yeah, just wrap them. We'll make grass and hay on the fields close to the barn, so we don't feel like we're transporting stuff back and forth. Okay. Oh, three bales, sorry. Three bales. Make wrap them all. Cause I'm coming down there with three bales already. I forgot that we had that pickup truck. That's awesome. Well, that's right. We have the class heart, the claws harvester. Claws. How do you think that's really pronounced? Do you think it's cloth? Yeah. I do see a fair amount of uh, cloth equipment here in Ohio. Uh, mostly like balers and stuff like that. I haven't seen any uh, tractors or harvesters here, but I've seen implements and stuff from cloth. Baling tools. Did you see the picture of that broken crone baler? Yeah. I think, I, I, was it Johan that po posted it? All right, I'm on my way, Micah. Four bales in tow. I wonder why they keep the silage bales at such high revenue. Maybe because the amount of work that has to go into them and the equipment that you need to put it together, you know? You know, I have no idea. I've been trying to watch some of the the farm news and stuff like that. I was watching it one day. You know, the prices of sheep and things like that going up and down. But, yeah, I just, I'm not sure. I mean, it probably, you know, it does cost a lot to keep this equipment going, the wrap and... Yeah, true. Like, all the different pieces that you need. It's still nerfed compared to what it used to be, but that's okay. I think it makes it a little bit more... More of a challenge. It's still kind of easy, but not that easy. Let's see here. We're going to drop that button. There we go. Very nice lining them up, my God. A problem. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, laughing at the guy who doesn't even know. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> so we got what's next? Uh, 20. Yeah, the two little. Oh, now it's going to put it up. Thanks. Where should I go? Alright, come on. Pick it up. I really don't want to go through town. <clears throat> it was pretty cool. My friend Tim got married yesterday. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> We've only just begun to live. <laughs> <laughs> he said, poor guy. Tim, no! Run away! 
That's that guy, that's guy in Hawaii, right? No, that's my brother-in-law. Oh, brother-in-law's in Hawaii. No, Tim's my my best friend. Aww. I go to lunch with Tim every week. Did you try to stop him? I tried, man. I was like, I don't know, Tim. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. She's a really nice girl. You always have to try to stop to make sure it's real. That's right. <laughs> you got one chance left, bud. You can always run. <laughs> it's horrible. Like, what a I mean, sure, the bride is going to hate you for at least three years, but hey, mm-hmm. you know it's real. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Let's see here. So this on here, this side of the map, we need to go. Up. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna find my way through here. Look out! Stupid people on the crosswalks. Uh, I don't like going to town. Yeah, it's a little dangerous for them. <laughs> Not for me. Oh, it's my my hand hit the power button. I shut the tractor off on the turn. It's like my ex-wife used it when when we were first dating. She had this Dodge Omni, and uh, whenever you turn to the right, it would stall. <laughs> so you'd have to like you'd have to like really like floor it to keep it running. Piece of crap. That's right. We got different size bales over here. What happened? I think we have different sized bales over here. No. Really? Yeah. Oh, why? Because you uh, had gone off, and I wasn't sure what size you wanted. The oh, bales so those are those are going to be less value, you think? I don't know. I just wasn't sure because it does like what one point three, and then uh, what the other. <laughs> I think the sizes are like four thousand, three thousand, like right, five thousand and sixty-five hundred. They have a special name for the big ones. I forget what they call them. Aren't those called the O Daddies? O oh, Daddy, <laughs> Big Daddy. Big Daddy Weave. That was a guy that did worship music, Big Daddy Weave. I don't know if he'd still... He had one really good song. I don't know if they continued doing music or not. But. I was church this last weekend. It was good this last weekend. Yeah? Yeah, I played rhythm guitar today, so that was fun. A little different. You do have the... I think you, I feel like you have to learn more, because with lead, it's like once you have the, the main riff down, it's kind of like goofing around, and then... You know what I mean? Everybody else kind of makes the song structure, and you just kind of take a ride with it, you know? But for rhythm, you, you're you're part of the song, so you got to be there, you know. Like you, can't, it has to be the same every time, you know, or you, you screw everything up. So it was good, though. I think we did a good job. Steve and I blended well together, and people really liked it. So, my friend, my uh, my friend Steve Saska did the uh, lead guitar work this week, so. I wish this thing told me how many liters were in this bale, but it doesn't. That's all right. Maybe we can't buy cows yet. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're at 131. We're going to be out about 60 for the equipment that we need. Or more. Because we need a we need a, ba- a water trailer. Oh, where the heck do we get water from? Maybe we can't do animals. Didn't somebody say there's no water on this map? Oh, there's water. Is there? Okay. You can drive to the river. Oh, okay. Can you pull Wasser from it? I don't know. This tractor's kind of like a golf cart. It just won't go any faster down the hill. <laughs> you know, you get reach top speed and that's it. Don't re- don't break that rubber band. Don't break. <laughs> I 
How's Kyle's goat farm going? Um, he has a bunch of kids. I think last time I talked to him, he's got like I think he's thinking like he's gonna have like thirteen or fourteen new goats, which is good. He did lose three though. Ah, uh, to the wet to the weather. One died. Yeah, one just passed away. Like it, and then, but he was sad because like the one he really he had a little runt that he thought was super cute, but the mom rolled over it in her sleep. Ah. Uh. And two two of them got rolled over and got killed. So, but he was like, yeah, it's just you know, unfortunately that's how it goes. I, I almost had the same experience as a young child. What, what was that? Your mom rolled over got, you? Well, when I was a baby, my mom, uh, I fell out of the out of their bed and broke my collarbone. What? Yeah, I was like one or two. Oh my goodness. We have concrete. We had concrete floors at the time. Oh my slides. goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like it, was, it's, like, it had carpeting over it though, right? No, no carpet. It was. They were they were changing the carpet. Oh, oh, ouch. My luck. It's, it's, it's my luck. I bet, you, I bet you remembered it. No, I don't. Oh, you don't? No. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's pretty young. But what's funny, they still have the brace up in the attic. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I remember one time we were going through, we were going through the stuff clean, and I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Mom's I was like, that's your brace when you broke your collarbone. She's like, and I'm like, when you kicked me out of bed when I was a baby? She <laughs> kicked me out of bed. Yeah, nope. my dad says she kicked me out of bed in the middle of the night. I've had kids roll off the bed and hurt themselves pretty bad. Mark definitely a couple times rolled out and hurt himself. Uh, he somehow he rolled. He was they had a bunk bed, and I think and he rolled out of the bed and like bashed his face on a, on a dresser. Like his lip was all swollen. I was like, dude, like I think he was probably like seven or eight years old. One time, Evelyn like ran into the dresser in the big, uh, big uh, glass container fell on her and bonked her head. Evelyn, so crabby. We're such a suicide race, aren't we? <laughs> Suicidal. Didn't do it on purpose. Even from day one. <laughs> <laughs> More like accident prone. All right, I'm headed your way again. See, you were afraid of catching up, but I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. Oh, can I go this way? I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this road through the woods. The woods in the You gotta yeah, you should be able to take these bales right across the street and sell them. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these two. Same place. This is a nice little woods. I think this road is. Oh, it's going this way. Okay. It disappeared for a minute there. And I don't know if this brings us anywhere near where Micah is. See, I don't. This, I'm not getting the "don't drive too deeply" message, so I wonder if this is not actual water. We might have to buy water. Buy water. I'm sure there's a there's some kind of water on the ma on the farm. Oh. Because it wouldn't make sense to put a big cow farm and you can't buy water. Right. Especially this is from Black Sheep Modding, so. BSN. That'd be a, that'd be a pretty big error. On our part. We're, Lizzie and I are gonna move from the Alps to that whatever they're that was it. Creamery, Cold Stone Creamery, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever that map is. You know what I'm talking about? The new one that's coming out? Yeah. We're waiting for that to come out. Because the Alps has some bugs with the animals. So it doesn't work right. So anyway, when it comes out, we're going to move over there. Ah, look out! <laughs> You're not going to go for the uh, the abandoned forest? No. <laughs> uh, I, I played that a little bit on my own. Man, Is it's a hard map. I mean... Yeah. It's super unforgiving. They don't get. They should give you like a, a budget to start with, because there's nothing. I mean, you got no fields. There's no. You don't own anything. I know. Well, I just thought it'd be hilarious to have her pulling out of the sheep place and drive that tractor right off the cliff. Oh my gosh, poor Miss Bugs. <laughs> I mean, I think it. 
She ordered an Xbox controller, so she should be doing better here soon. I don't know when that's... I think it's supposed to come this week. So she should, she should have more control. That's right, Violet, over what she's doing. Oh, this is pretty. I never saw that hill over there before. This is a really pretty map. It's a little claustrophobic because of all the trees. Like, I'm not sure I'm in love with trees everywhere. Where in the Cabana Forest? Yeah, no, this one that we're on. Because it, it's just, it's, sometimes when the tractor's going down the road and stuff, it's hard to see where the tractor is. Like, you have to go into the end cab view. But it's more realistic that way, because obviously there are trees all over the place. But. In real life. Yeah, see, I took the fence down. Ah. Oh, yeah, makes it easier. I'm so mad we're out of milk. Love milk. Yeah, I, have, I don't drink as much. I, I drink almost none of it now because it's got a lot of sugar in it, but... I'm allowed to drink half and half, but I haven't. I didn't do the diet this weekend with the wedding and stuff. It's like I've been really bad about it. My discipline has been lacking. What they have at the wedding? Um, chicken parmesan. Ooh. Yeah, they had all kinds of pastas. I didn't eat a lot of that though. I didn't eat potatoes. I had, I, had, I basically I ate beans, um, uh, veggies like like steamed veggies, and then chicken parmesan. But they had a lot of other stuff too. I just didn't, you know, like I don't. I'm trying not to. So I'm trying to stay. I'm still trying to stay away from most carbs, you know. I do eat vegetables and stuff though. But no more French fries. No more, you know, just stuff that's bad for you. Desserts. I didn't eat any desserts when I was there. But I did have today. I had. I had a. I was. I had peanut butter pancakes <laughs> at Bob Evans. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm like I'm gonna have some fun today. But that's it. No more for another two weeks. So that was my fun, my fun week weekend. I seem to be having a lot of those. I'm not sure what's going on. Here. No more fun. No more fun. <laughs> Ryan left me tonight. Where'd he go? Over to Mark's. Play video games. <laughs> he took his PS4. They're gonna do some co-op gaming. I think they play Ant they, uh, Monster Hunter. Oh yeah, I played that. I guess the new one's really incredible. I don't know, to me it looks oh. boring. It's okay. It gets old fast. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. I was like, that looks boring actually. The Mark's like, it's the best game ever. I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> like it's just kind of grindy I guess but so is this game I mean obviously <laughs> we're talking about the farm sim so I guess comparatively maybe it's super exciting now. 168 $168,000 dollars Well, I mean, that game, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's, where's the cleaner? I'm trying to remember where the cleaner is. It's in the lower garage. Underneath the bail area. This is what Mike and I get for playing late at night. <laughs> We're all like, yeah. Uh, listen, uh, they got to listen to us yawn. Long <laughs> silences of quiet, you know. <laughs> like pot, long pauses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey man, you get recorded when you can. You know, life has been my life has been super busy this week, and I haven't had it. I'm almost out of videos again. I will see if maybe later this week if I can get Micah on to do some Star of Farm too. I still think I have two episodes to release of that though, so we should be. Okay. Oh, I wanted to say, you know, I know I left a comment, but having the real video of that thing work of that uh, cedar working was freaking sweet. Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> so when you talk to what's the name Daniel? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was really awesome. Yeah, they stayed. They were. He he loved it. He said he got to show it to the executives, and they were all like, "Dude, that's awesome." 
I did it again. Dang it. I'm just going to let him go and do it again. He's actually sending me a video. He's going to try to do it this week. Uh, they're going to send us a factory tour video. He's going to he's gonna make it himself. Oh, how they're, when they're made. Yeah, like he's going to take us around the factory, which is going to be awesome. Yeah. So what kind of content are you going to make to go with that? Well, what we'll do is we'll include it in one of our episodes. Ooh. So I'll pop it in. But it's going to say, like, you know, we'll, we'll call it, like, factory tour with... With Daniel. No, with, good. <laughs> with Daniel. <laughs> Which is funny, because now I didn't know this, but um, during World War II, um, a lot of Germans fled, you know, Germany, obviously not wanting to be part of what was going on. And uh, a lot of them ended up in South America. Both good and bad, I think, from what I've seen online. There were lots of Nazis went there, too. But <laughs> I thought it was like Argentina. Yeah, yes, Argentina very much so. Uh, but Brazil also had a lot of, uh, a lot of German um, people that were, uh, what do you call that? Uh, it's not immigrants. Uh, what do you call it? Or emigrating. What do you call that, though? The Migrating? No, because migration is something that doesn't happen because of war. I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? They were... Uh, Refugees? Thank you. Yeah. So the people that started uh, Stara were actually German refugees. And uh, they they ended up there in the 40s, and then they started the Stara Tractor Company. So it's funny because they're actually mostly German. It's really neat. But it's a really uh, very... Almost like the BMW of tractors, like they're very into the technology portion of the tractor building. Everything has a uh, um, like super in-depth telemetry, and it's all like iPhone app and stuff like that. So they keep they keep record of all the seed and fertilizer you've used, like if it's a tractor, like how much usage, what kind of equipment you were using, that kind of stuff. And it's, it's all GPS enabled and very. Uh, high tech stuff. So we have $187,000 in the bank. So. I think. What should we do? What should we do, Micah? Cows or sheep? Cows. You want to do cows? Do we have everything for cows, though? No, we're gonna need a tether. We're gonna need a mixing wagon, and we're gonna need a water a water tanker. So we should get that first. Yeah, if we need if we do sheep, we just need a water tanker. Problem is, I hate to put money into sheep if we're really not gonna use them. Oh, we'd use them. I mean, we'll sell the we'll sell their product, but it just seems to take forever to get any product. <laughs> it doesn't. It's really, I mean, you get if you have a hundred sheep, I think it's like every. Maybe every 48 hours you get a full pallet, maybe, maybe a little less. And a pallet's worth what, like 10,000 bucks? Usually around seven. 7,000 bucks? $14? 1495 All this for under 20 bucks. But wait, there's more. So you think the cows are the way yeah. to go? The cows. You said. Pff. Are you adding up the prices? No, I'm looking right now. I know the water trailer is like ten. I have, yeah. I think the feeder is like 50. So that's 60. And I think a tether is like 10. So we're at about $70,000. No, we have all that. We got the Do JCB. We? Yep. Okay. Yep, we got the trailer with the bales. We can make bales. No, no big deal. We got everything we need, but those are the three items that we're missing. What are we going to do about hauling? Are we going to buy? 
right away just and have them delivered? Just have them delivered, yeah. It's way it's okay. cheaper to do it that way. I'm going to park this out here, too, because we're going to have to mow that last field. So we'll just a tether. 60 horse, 80, 75. So we'd, that would leave us with about 70,000 for cows. Don't forget, don't sit in your tractor. <laughs> it's a Ford, it can take it. It racks up the hours, though. <laughs> it's I don't, a Ford, it can take it. I don't doubt it can take it, but it costs more money. Not my money. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. I'm just trying to think what, what tether would be good. Probably just a small one. I don't think we need a monster tether. We're not going to do it very often, right? Um, no. I mean, honestly, what, 25, we'll probably be able to afford like 20 or 25 cows. So, <laughs> every time we mow, we'll need to tether like half the grass. I mean, get like, if we give like eight bales. I don't know. I haven't done cows in a while. I don't remember how many bales they take. I think the coon one would probably be the best choice. So the tethers? Yeah, 40 horse to run it. 8.7 meters, so it's almost 9. And it's 35 bucks a day. Alright, so I'm buying the Joskin. What? I'm buying the Joskin water tender and I'm buying the silo king um, trailed line duo mixing wagon and last but not least we need a tether which is going to be where are the tethers I'm lost the coon tether now why the coon just because it's a little bit wider well, for five dollars more an hour, from five dollars more a day, we get it almost up to nine meters wide. You got it. All right, so I'm just gonna have these reset. Um, microphone muted. Microphone activated. Oops, I muted my microphone. All right, so we're gonna deliver these to the farm. Reset. Yes. Can you take that water tanker see if you can get it filled up? Would you mind? Sorry, I was just looking at how much it costs to get the T7. <laughs> so it's like, wow. More than we have now if we're going to buy cows. So we have $121,000 left off. It was $66,500. Yeah, I think right here is the water. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, see if you can get it from the river for free, please. Okay. <laughs> that would be nice. Though the river is kind of far away, isn't it? I can try. Wouldn't uh, hurt to try. Yeah, just see. I don't think you're going to be able to, but at least we can know. I got Violet fifteen dollars of of Robux. She and she bought oh, yeah? a, she bought a mansion. <laughs> she's got her she's got her own little house. It's so cute. All gone already. You love it, Goosey. <laughs> You're going to buy a whole gang, you said? A what? A hair game pass? What's a hair game pass? <laughs> oh, you can dye your hair? Okay. Oh, Violet. Violet. Fwicking? You mean a fwicking what? All right. I'm going to put the, the mixing wagon up here. Actually, is there a better spot to put this? Uh, it's so far away from the cows. But I guess this is it. No, I'm going to go over here. Uh, all these business groups. I have a friend that wants me, She, I was in BNI with, and she wants me to join her, this new business group they've got going. But they always freaking meet at like 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, so, I know. I'm so not into like early morning crap. 
Oh, there's little baby cows. Look. Yeah, we can just park that in there. All right, so we'll put this over here for now because we're going to fill it up. You know, that would be cool is in the ne in 19 is if you can choose to buy cows that are full grown or babies. Oh, and raise them. Oh, like uh, pure farming. Yeah, I mean, I think that would be really babies? cool. I wish I liked pure farming more because it's got so much potential. But I just, I haven't been able to stick, I get bored and plus all the, the, the technical issues like with the resets and stuff like that, I just, I, I want to like the game, but I don't. Um, they, they had some kind of, I might do this anyway, but they have like a get, if you're a YouTuber, you can get a t-shirt made for the DL, for a DLC. And then I can give my viewers a code to download that t-shirt. So it sounds pretty cool. I might do that. Do any of your viewers play it? Yeah, I've got a decent amount of people that play it. <laughs> that sounds so hopeless. Does anyone actually play it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> okay, you losing any money? Uh, no. Okay, we're getting water, water for free. Oh, cool. Okay. I wish it wasn't so far away, but... All right, we're going to go buy some cows. Let's see. Bye, 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 bye. How much money should we leave in the bank? 20 grand, at least. So I'm buying 20 cows. Now, do you think what we should maybe what we should do is we should instead of well, you're probably already bought the cows. No, right? I haven't. I'm not having hit the confirm button. I just happened to think about maybe what we should do is get a solar panel. Do like one round of uh, silage bales to get a solar panel. And well, then... let's do that next. Let's get the cows first. Okay. Because we'll have more grass. I mean, obviously, we'll always have grass. So this is going to leave us with $18,000 if I do 20 cows. Is that cool? There you go. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we have 20 cows. They're hungry. We don't have any straw, though, so we can't... I guess we can make ri mixed ration out of grass and silage. I mean, straw, hay and silage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start mowing, Micah. All righty. And we need to get some, we'll need to make some hay bales and some straw bales. But if you want to get them watered, they'll probably need a probably, I, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to guesstimate they're going to need um, probably two trailers worth of water. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Thinking cows. Why? They're so thirsty. Those dang thirsty cows. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode as we've added animals to the farm. And we have made some money doing silage, and we are uh, on our way. So this farm is starting to get going. I'm pretty sure we're going to run this one until 19 comes out. Uh, and we'll probably also keep running the Star of Farm until 19 comes out. Oh, thank you for putting the fertilizing stuff away, Micah. You are the man. Oh, we should take a look at the growth. Did you see any on our one? Like how many fields do we have that are actually growing crop? Just two, right? I only know of one. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you next time on Farming Simulator 17 Ford Farm as we continue to operate these, this cool antique, quote-unquote, Ford equipment and take care of our animals and take care of this farm. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Uh, if you really like the channel, you can always donate to keep our finances going here because obviously I have bills to pay with the my million dollar a month cable and all that good stuff. Uh, and you can donate by going to by clicking on my name, going to the main page uh, of my channel, and up at the top there you'll see a forage harvester from John Deere. On that picture is a support button. You can click on that support button, it'll take you to PayPal, and you can make a donation there. Have a great night, guys, and we will see you next time on Ford Farm. I'll say bye, Micah. Bye, Micah. <laughs> smart Alec. <laughs> As uh, Miss Bug says, smart butt. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. See you next time.